Welcome back. Well, just 10 months ago, Maxime Bernier was a heavyweight MP for the Conservative Party, but he shunned his stunned his colleagues by calling the party morally corrupt and quitting to form the People's Party of Canada. I caught up with Maxime Bernier last week for a session ender interview. Here it is. Maxine Bernier joins me for a sort of a, I guess it's year end or session end or whatever you want to call it, interview. Uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate that. Um, are they still morally corrupt in your view, the Conservatives? Absolutely. Morally and intellectually, intellectually corrupt. That's what I said in, 10 months ago. And I believe in that because, you know, they are doing politics uh, with survey and focus group and, uh, and they are pandering to every special interest group. They are doing that with the cartel in dairy, poultry and milk. Uh, mm -hmm. and milk. They are also doing identity politics. So they are not conservative anymore. If you believe in free markets and, and freedom, you must uh, fight against a cartel in dairy, poultry and eggs that Canadians, because of that cartel, Canadians are paying $400 more a year. All right. Well, that's sort of a distinctive Maxime Bernier policy differentiation from the other parties but I'm curious like why immigration is such a key part of your your uh, policy document why, why is that such a big deal to you because 49 percent of Canadians want fewer immigrants and want uh, 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 less uh, uh, lower immigration levels and I think uh, I'm responding to that only nine percent of Canadians want more immigrants in our country so uh, I think that's just Saint Trudeau and the conservative that are having a policy that is uh, not in line with Canadians on immigration and we want more economic immigrants all together, mm -hmm. but but fewer, uh, less uh, about what we had under the upper government, a maximum of 250,000 a year. But by fewer, if, sorry, but do you mean le fewer of the refugee Absolutely. variety? Absolutely. F uh, uh, fewer refugees, uh, less uh, people coming under the uh, uh, reunification of family, and a more important ratio for economic immigrants. Right. But together, instead of 340,000 a year, that would be the number next year, right. it's an increase by 40%. Uh, you know, we will have a maximum of 250,000 a year, but uh, a bigger proportion of them will be economic immigrants because we need more economic immigrants. But won't that be uh, real, or, real or imaginary, a, a racial policy in the sense that most of the refugees are, are certainly from the Middle East or from Africa and that sort of thing. So it gives the appearance that it's okay if you're coming from Italy, but if you're coming from uh, from Somalia, you aren't welcome here. No, no, no. The, the, there's 40,000 uh, fake refugees that are crossing the border, right. the border in Quebec. And 40% of them will have to be deported in three years from now because they're not real refugees. So we must stop that. And we must help the real refugees that are wa wa waiting in a refugee camp, not the one that are crossing the border in Quebec. Mm -hmm. So we'll have, and actually right now, Canada is welcoming more refugees than the US. Uh, and we're 10 uh, times, uh, and they're 10 times bigger than us. So let's have fewer refugees. Uh, but at the same time also uh, being sure that having the right one, the one that need, right. needed to be helped. Where's the line for Maxime Bernier between freedom of expression and hate speech? Is there a, <laughs> is there a line there? Yeah, yeah. The, the, some you know, I've, some the, of your candidates are espousing conspiracy views, and, and you're well aware of that. Well, they are. I mean, oh, the UN's, a, a, you know, a giant organized crime outfits, no, no, uh, vaccines I, I, are bad for measles because they cause <laughs> autism. You kind of go, what no, the no, heck? No, 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 no. Uh, I, I think the candidate that said that, uh, he was doing a video and laughing about all these conspiracy theory. And he said after that, he, he doesn't believe in that. He said he, he was doing a show on YouTube about it. But the most important on free speech, that's what's happening right now in Ottawa. Uh, the, uh, the censorship that is happening in Ottawa. Remember the MP Michael Cooper? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Michael said something a day, and the day after, the, the member of parliament at the committee, the uh, justice committee, decided that uh, you must erase that. Well, so, but he was quoting a mass killer in New Zealand by name well, but, but and, that, but and that's by manifesto. Speech. Yeah, but that's a free speech. It's a free country. Uh, you know, he has the right to say that. A free speech is not saying only what you want to hear. 
or what you like to hear. Yes, we can say something that can be disturbing. That's free speech. That's the most important. And, and we have a, a provision in a criminal code against hate speech, and that's okay. We don't need another provision on free speech. We must, it's, it's a debate that we must have in our society. And if you don't agree with what I'm saying, I must have the right to say it, and Michael had the right to say it. So if a candidate's saying stuff like climate change, fighting climate change is like fighting Islam, or if someone's saying uh, that uh, really there's a, a, a conspiracy theory that says, uh, I don't know, I mean, there's all kinds of them, Aboriginal, Trudeau's out to kill Aboriginal people because he no. wants their land. I mean, no, don't no, you no. say, we got to rein you in on that one, Max? But the most important is our candidates must share our values, and our values is individual freedom, personal okay. responsibility, free speech, uh, uh, also respect and fairness. That's the platform of the People's Party of Canada. Mm -hmm. And they, they have the right to their own opinions, but you know, I will, I, I cannot police everybody in my party. They have the right to say, but if they're saying something that it's uh, not in line with the party, they will have to retract, they will have to do, so they will have to do something. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're building a party and based on people, it's a grassroots movement right. and I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. We have writing associations all across the country. We have 40,000 members up to now. How many candidates you got? Well, so we have 291 candidates well, up to now. Out of 338, so you're yeah, within 10% of having a full slate. It's going well, more than all the other political parties except the conservative. So we're a strong national political party and I'm very, very proud of our volunteers all across the country that are helping us yeah. to build this party. And uh, we'll be, uh, you'll have to check us uh, October this 22nd. summer, <laughs> before that, yes, and also October 27th for you sure. You do all summer, you're going to do some fishing, relax around the no, house. No, no, my God, <laughs> I, will, I will campaign starting right now. <laughs> all right, well, it'll be a very interesting to see how this unfolds during the next few months. Uh, Maxine Bernier, appreciate you coming in. Thank you very much. Have all a nice right. day.